Hey guys, Sean and Allison here from Spoken Garden. Hey guys. Hey guys. We're out today, we're gonna prune our spirea plant. We've got a couple behind us here. Yeah, and uh, yeah, yeah, so we're gonna do that today. We're gonna show you how we're gonna do it and hopefully it'll help you in your yard too. And right now is a perfect time to prune this plant because it's already done flowering. And we're gonna talk more about that in just a sec, but you can see it behind us here. So it's kind of, it's a beautiful plant. It offers a lot of privacy and this is actually our neighbor's side, which looks really nice, a lot nicer than our side. <laughs> mm -hmm. Our side's super rangy and messy, and we're, we need to take care of that today. Yeah, we just haven't gotten to it yet. It's kind of on the side of our yard, mm -hmm. and we've been more focused on the beds, and planting flowers and uh, bulbs and all that. So right now, about mid-spring, um, this plant, uh, these plants back here, these spirea, are done flowering. After it's done flowering, great time to prune it. Okay, you guys, now we're on our side of the property and it's still very beautiful and very full and lush. And again, it just finished flowering. It has these beautiful little white, just tiny delicate flowers all over it. See that? Yep, it's, those are the remnants of the flowering. They had a lot more earlier. It hadn't leafed out yet either. This plant usually flowers first, then after it's just about done flowering, it'll leaf out with these larger leaves and you can see what it looks like right now. So we don't actually know what specific cultivar this is because my grandparents planted it a long time ago. Very long right? time ago, yep. So we think it's what, a baby's breath spi spirea? Yep, it's it's some type of spirea. Some type. Yep, it's a beautiful plant. You can see it's healthy. Um, it's a little rangy because we haven't done much I with know, it. we're gonna and show so, that. Um, uh, yeah, so today what we wanna do, you already saw at the beginning of this video, what the neighbor side looks like. That's what we want to do on this side. That's what we want. That's our goal on this side. So what we're going to do is we're basically going to leave a lot of these like little pieces right here that aren't really coming out too far. But any of these bigger pieces, these really rangy looking pieces, we're going to take those out and we're just going to selectively prune those out. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to reestablish a line right here using different kinds of cuts. We're going to use a lot of thinning, some heading, but um, hopefully uh, more thinning than heading. So after we take these kind of rangier pieces out, we're gonna go down below here and we're gonna get these guys down here. We're gonna cut all of this back at the base further down in because we wanna reclaim this part of our garden. This is a lot of good planting space. We've got a lot of plants that you've probably seen in our other videos for uh, seedlings and whatnot or that we bought and we want to plant them and we want to get them out here. So this will be a great spot to do it. We just got to make the space. Now, don't we have another spirea over here? Yes, we do, but so it's a little bit tree. different than the other right one. You can, now, yeah, so here's this one. Now, the plant we just showed you back over here that we're going to prune on, all of this, there's a couple of them over here. This is still that same type of spirea. So there's a couple of them over here and they're growing into this other plant over here. They're growing into the U too. So along with what we're gonna do to reshape and reclaim some garden space over here, we're actually gonna prune this back so it's not overgrowing this plant and it's not overgrowing the U. Uh, what we're gonna use today is we've got our uh, Corona uh, dual link uh, loppers here and we've also got our folding saw, razor tooth folding saw, along with, of course, my hand pruners. So uh, all the links will be down below if you want to check them out. So guys, I was telling you before, uh, some thinning cuts, some heading cuts. Uh, this plant will take both. You can actually prune it to look very informal, very natural if you want to and still have a nice uh, hedge, a nice barrier and some privacy. Or you can make it more formal, which, which means uh, it's going to look more like a shape. It's going to be a box or a ball or something like that. It's going to have a very definite edge to it. We're kind of doing a hybrid of both today. And so the reason that this plant can have either uh, an informal or formal look is because of the way it grows. And this is with a lot of plants. Depending on how it grows and where those growing points are, you can see right here, this plant, it's got very short uh, distances between where the stems and the leaves come out and those are called internodes and this plant has very short internodes and so what you can do is is you can use that to your advantage when you're pruning any plant but especially this plant and you can take this plant hedge it and you can just cut in one straight line and give it that line look that that ball or that that square shape or rectangle shape and it'll be fine because the plant grows this specific way, it'll react and it'll just regrow in that area and be very lush and fill in those areas to give you that shape that you want. 
We're going to get into this. Let's get this job done. I'm just going to get started and uh, make sure if you have any questions, leave them down below for uh, any of the cuts that I make or if you have specific questions about why I made a specific cut in a specific area. So guys, like you heard us say before, we want to actually take this part back because this is going to be our guiding line basically right here. This is the area that we want to emulate to go straight back. So what we're going to do is we're going to follow this down this way. We're only going to make cuts along any of these stems going past this point because we want this area down here to eventually fill in to look like this or even, th or even thicker with growth. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to come in using this line. I'm going to go after this guy because it's going straight out. I'm going to come back and right now I'm going to clip it right here where these two, uh, these two stems come together. I'm just going to clip that off. And what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to remove that and I'm going to take this and take a step back and look and see now how does that fit my line. Now I can already see that this kind of comes out and this, this is some deader tissue. We're going to just take that out. I'm just going to cut it right there between these two. Uh, those two leaves right there in the, in the middle of that inner node, and this will be fine. So now we can come back and take a look. If you want to come back here, you can see here's, here's our line. There's where we made our cut. That's pretty much in line. And this isn't going to be exact because plants don't follow specific lines. They're natural. You know, we could, we could still hedge this and make it have a line right here, but right now that's not what we're going for. So we want to not take off too much of the plant. Another rule of thumb is that we didn't talk about before, don't take off, don't prune more than a third of the plant away because otherwise you're really going to hurt the plant. You're going to stress it out. It's going to react and it's going to have so much growth that it's going to stress it out and it can make it uh, open to like diseases and insects. They'll flock to the plant. So just don't do that. Okay. So with that in mind, we're just going to keep going down this line right here. And again, if you have any questions about what cuts I'm making, why, and where I'm making them, just leave that comment down below, okay? So guys, here we are. Um, we took this back. We're gonna follow our line right here. Unfortunately, uh, with a lot of things that you get into pruning, um, you might have a set plan of what you wanna prune and how you want it to look, but unfortunately, the bones of what's in there have to also be there for you to have to get what you want to meet that goal. Unfortunately, everything up top here had to be cut further back because it didn't have the bones to have a solid, line keep going here for uh, for the leaf tissue and stem tissue. So the plan now is to maintain what we have here and you can see where we made our cuts, you know. Um, the plan now is to maintain what we have here and this up here all around this line and then let the base of this start to grow up. There's a lot of brush kind of growth down here that this plant has put on. It's a very old plant. Again, it's very old. It's been here a long time. So it's trying to regrow from the base up. You can see a lot of this is huge. What we can do is we're going to let this grow up and eventually we'll cut these out and we'll kind of refurbish in a way this whole shrub and these multiple shrubs. Cause actually you can see in here uh, with the bases of these, there was one there. There's one right down there. There's another one over here. There's another one right here. And I believe there's one over here. So there's about three or four of these plants in here um, that were originally planted and they were planted really close together. Okay, you guys, that's a wrap for today. Um, we're pretty happy with the way it turned out and I like your plan of just um, letting the base kind of regrow and reestablish. And as far as we are familiar with this plant that, since we've lived here, it's, it grows pretty fast. Yeah. So it's an older plant, but um, we definitely needed to get in and do that pruning yeah. and kind of shape it up. It looks a lot more kept. It looks, it just looks better. It's not as ratty looking. I know, we kind of let it so. go. So now you can really see our yew tree right here too. And we, we really like seeing that. 
So definitely leave any comments or questions you have down below for us. We love hearing from you. And make sure to subscribe to this channel so you get updates on our latest videos. So thank you for watching, you guys, and for being here. We hope you're, you'll have a great day ahead, and we'll see you next time. See you next time, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.